You ready? No. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to relive this. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. You have a name? Hey what? guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian. I'm Thomas the Orphan. I'm... And it's gonna match. You'll understand. <laughs> And we are here to start the Promised Neverland. I know next to nothing about the show, but Jacob here, <laughs> he's seen it before. He's watched the sub. This will be his first venture into the dub version. Oh, yeah. But he's seen it before a long time ago. Yeah, this was when the show first came out, mm -hmm. and I believe it was only on Netflix or mm -hmm. Crunchyroll. I can't remember, right. but it was an exclusive. Have you seen the second season yet? No. You know what you should do? Wait. <laughs> and then it'll be a it'll completely... be nine weeks down the line. That's what I... I did that for Austin. I watched up until like midway of the second season of My Hero, and then I just waited for him to catch up while we were reacting to I it. I still haven't watched season four of that. So good. Um, anyway, um, you should wait, and then we'll both be reacting to it. It'll be great. Well, we're technically both reacting to it now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> I, again, like we I said... We don't get sidetracked on uh -oh. this channel. What did you do? And shift. You're in another anime now, weeb. Well, it wasn't. We weren't watching anime before. They were. Welcome to Promise Network. <laughs> You gotta. You deal with demons. Obviously, supernatural things are a miss. That's it. So what you think? First, first, you know, first episode. You know. I'd equate it to. Let's yeah. see. Um. The war. Fruit baskets. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um. Oh. It's on par with Full Metal. <laughs> Wait, on up. par? Hold up, hold up. I forgot. There's probably... Oh, yeah, I didn't do that. No. You got enough of a cliffhanger right there at the end. No, no, no. But I just don't like when they show uh, next episode and then... Preview. And don't you love a child's mind that they go to the gate and she's like... It could be like a zoo. Like, there's... You know, when we get out of here, ride a giraffe. Yeah, I mean... It, 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 yeah. I mean, if you think about it, that was probably... The giraffe of the demons. So she could write that thing. Boy, I w you know, <laughs> I was like Ooh. 60 or 40%, no, sorry, 60 to 70% joking when I said demons. And then I wrote, I wrote, let me go to the beginning. Sacrifice, soul, labor, slavery, body parts? Question marks. Wasn't sure. I'm pretty sure some of those fit into this category of whatever's happening. Um, they say, what did they say? Their skin is uh, worth more? Worth a lot? What was it there? So they're – I think of it like an actual uh, like cattle farm. Almost. No, 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 no. I was just saying like – Well, was yeah, it? because they, they use like the hide. So well. they said the skin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if, I, if it was that, – if that's what I heard or if I forgot. Because I was like rapidly trying to write everything that had happened before, like what led to that, because there was still a lot of stuff I wanted to write down, and then that happened. So I was like, let me take a second to, you know, take it in. But then I also have to write things down that happened before mm -hmm. that were just as important, like really good at tag. I had to write that down. That does come in handy. I mean, I didn't write that down, but... When you, when you got demons on your tail, yeah, you got to be yeah. able to play hide and seek. Obvi well, I don't think it matters. <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, apparently, he's like, wait. I smell something. I like his... I like I like Norman's enthusiasm at the end. He's like, you know, we just got to outplay him. It's his... It's cool. It is optimism. It's cool. That's we just got to outplay him. Now... Did you did you did you uh, catch anything at the end there when they were talking about like grading? I just it just seemed like it was like the older but not too old is what they're which what are you talking about like the grading of the meat or the grading of the kids? Both. Because they 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 mentioned that at six years old uh, that it was like all right. And it, but it wasn't one of the special ones. Like it's, 
Mm-hmm. It's decent quality, but it's not like one of the special kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is just like the, 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 that's when they like at a certain age shows their ineptitude at the like at, a, at an early stage or something. Like, am I at least in the ballpark? Or no? Well, mm, so it's 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 a lot of factors, okay. right? Okay. Like you're you're dealing I mean, with like uh, ages. You're dealing with you have these kids taking tests, so it has right. to do with smarts in some degree. Or they're just they're just you know wasting time just to mess with them. Like how we make you take tests before you die? How about torture? <laughs> you could look no, no, at it like no, no. that, but <laughs> no, I know, I know. I just, I figured the test had to do again before before the the big reveal. I figured it had to do some kind of something to do with selection of some sorts. I didn't like the mom right off the bat. Didn't like the vibes I got from her. The, the eyes. Ooh. No. Did yeah. you like the uh Oh the, the eye the pupil change? Well the the implication towards the end where they hint at like how no one's ever beaten her at strategy. Like but it. then like Norman's it. like, We have to beat yeah. them at strategy don't with like everybody here. Yeah, 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 don't like it. And then oh. she's just like Oh And then it, after that it just it decides to jump to her and then cut. So right after he said that too, so yeah. Really the, liking the, that. The the one part that I did forget about is the um, the significance of the flowers. I don't recall. Yeah, was it stuck inside of her? Yeah, that that was literally like inside of her what? body. I'm wondering what. Cause she didn't. I mean, I'm trying to think of what could have. What what exactly did they do that killed her? Like, did it strangle her? Did it, was it the flower? Is it poisonous? Is it siphoning off of something? Well, obviously they have to keep them in certain type of condition yeah. for them to get sold off at a higher price. Yeah, they kept her in some kind of vat. So, so they didn't break her bones or anything. Yeah, no. So I'm just like, what could they have done that killed her that was... Immediate without affecting, like, bloodstream or well, anything Well, here, like the that. thing is, she was in a... St- again, this could just be... This could have just been drawn to really pull an, an, a reaction out of you, like a, a physical and just deep reaction... Visceral. That's visceral, what I was looking for. Yeah. Visceral reaction from from the audience, but like her face shown that she had been in pain or just maybe, sheer terror. Maybe it was just that terror. Yeah, she saw them before it, she died. Maybe I don't yeah. know. Like they didn't eat her. They didn't. They didn't. Again, they didn't injure her in any way. So, but I'm pretty sure I saw blood. A little bit of blood on her. Let me look back. But I don't want to look back. But but. Not, that's not the nice way I'm trying to write. There. Oh, there it is. There's hmm. There's some rough housing that went on. It almost seems like in her face she just died before she could react to anything. She has a pretty blank expression. Maybe a little surprised. Mm, but yeah. If, mm. There's a lot of blood though. It looks yeah, and it's, her skin is gray like she's been. One drained or hadn't been that long. It's hard to analyze the condition considering it's been drawn. So it's like it could just be that was that that's how they decided to, to color it. Like Put it, it in was, the lighting. Yeah. Yeah, but she's also somewhat in water. Like it, uh, there's a not like halfway, but like her. I don't know. It's maybe it's just because her skin's now waterlogged or something. I don't know, but. Hmm. Okay. 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 What's the significance of the water? Is that just them showing, like, them filling the vat with. I'm pretty sure it's not water. No, no, no. It's what, glowing. What, yeah, what was in there was not water. And that. This could just be, like, a, a holding place, like. Hmm. Let's see what they're actually doing. Is they're duping us, they're rejuvenating her to make her immortal. So, <laughs> Connie's adoption day went a little differently than we had originally hoped. What are you talking about? I <laughs> knew something was up. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> well, hoped. You said hoped, so you're yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, I didn't hope for her death. 
but I knew she was gonna die. <laughs> Didn't know how though. Well, I can't. That's a lie. I can't say I knew she was gonna die. I knew something un very unfortunate was gonna happen to her again. I wrote down the possible thing: sacrifice. So that would be death. Soul, labor, slavery, or body parts. One I, I mean, didn't. One I didn't want to write down. With but, with the with the numbers is like. Yeah, I don't. You don't label orphans like that. No, I know. Yeah, that my, obviously my first my initial <laughs> my initial thought was those in the Holocaust. That's exact. That's what my mind. Yeah. Just like okay, so they're prisoners, but they don't know it. Yeah. And uh, well, if this is they they even one of the monsters even say that this is the farm with the highest grade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At least in the area, where yeah. if not the entire nation of where they're at. Yeah. So. I'm just curious to what the. So, either demons or monsters. Possibly aliens. I think what that dude. I mean, he smelled two children that were alive amongst the dead body. So that wasn't overbearing to him. So he has some sort of selective smelling. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I swear to God, I've heard that mother's voice actor, though. Actress. Yeah, you can look it up. Yeah, just without getting spoiled. Then it, it'll, give you, uh, it'll give you the character's name since we, I forgot it. Well, I know John, I know Norman, Emma, and Ray. Well, no, I mean, like, they, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Ron. Who? Yeah. Oh, the, the, the tall, lovable oak dude. So let me just go back one second. Um, what is your number, girl? I don't know your face. Who? Emma's? No, Connie's. Oh, I don't know Connie's number. Huh? I don't know Connie's number. I know hers is sixty-nine ten. Hmm. Forty-eight twenty-one something. Hmm. Interesting. Not the name of the episode. She's happy parent. Huh. I don't. I can't. Well, I don't. Rec don't. I've seen her. Heard her in other things. I just don't. Not as well out known as some other voice actresses I know. But okay. I. I thought maybe oh. like. I thought maybe the episodes would have to correlate with the deaths, which would be unfortunate because I'm assuming all the all the episode names are named differently. But. Okay. 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 No effect. So why the why the fence though? I get the gate. Do they have guards out there? Women? Hmm. Well, the one kid though. I, mean, I know they said that Ray's good with puzzles, but yeah, he's a very analytical, strategic person. Mm -hmm. I mean that kid is like ridiculous, <laughs> and he can read. I I feel like he reads people, and he has to be able to read people to know what they would do. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. you have Norman, the super genius, Ray, the hyper analytical type that'll figure out things, and then you have Emma, who has just straight positive willpower, which makes her. Innately smart because she'll figure things out. Yeah, I think uh, she might have a form uh, or a form. She might uh, have a uh, eidetic memory or a photographic memory. So, but she said that they can. She learns quickly. Mm -hmm. So don't do what it is. But they're all like the branch of intelligente. And they're the three oldest. Yeah. It doesn't bode well for them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why 12? <sighs> Once they're 13, they're rotten. Throw them away or eat them. Well, all right. That's uh, both what I expected and like far from what I expected. I don't know. Like I had an inkling. <laughs> Once it started, but so okay, not to, the, not to the extent that it reached. Let, I guess. Let, let's let's take a quick dive back. Uh -huh. I know we're running. Eh. All right, I'm only <laughs> thirty. But let's take a dive back and look at each of their mental acuities mm -hmm. and how um, strategically they could they could uh, right. potentially play this. Because you have, like I said, you have Norman, who's like just the super genius. He's 
Mm-hmm. He sees he's super calm. Too. He's super calm. He's like super focused on what's right in front of him, and he doesn't let his emotions decide what he's doing. He also sees his weaknesses. Right. Oh. And Ray is like absolutely nonchalant, but he pays attention to everything. Mm-hmm. And then you have Emma, who is wears her heart on her sleeve, and she's really upfront about everything. Right. And um, but she has so much positive, like like the positive willpower. Like she's super positive, but she has this willpower that she wants. She has this determination determination about her. And you yeah. see that in like the opening right. cutscene of like her determination, like when she's going, and the fact that she went uh, out of her way to hide from Norman. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, like like Norman said, even though this, it's it's, it's a, lot, a lot of times portrayed as a weakness to some people. But I don't. He didn't necessarily say weakness. He just said that you're too caring, right? What he said. You're too nice. You're too. Is that what he said? Yeah, he said he said your weakness is too nice. Care too much. Did he say weakness though? I'm pretty sure he did. I don't know. See, that could be your strength though. She could love the mother to death. Well, I, make I her think, change her ways. I think it was. We'll a... use her to battle the demons and put them in the vats. <laughs> Guys, that's it for this week's episode of the Promised Neverland. Really joyful show. Can't wait to get back to it. If you want to stick around for that episode, click the subscribe button or see it see the next one early on Patreon. It's only uphill.